YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Shalene the Queen, and I'm coming to you guys with a video of a day in the life of an Amazon delivery driver. Um, I'm gonna come up with a new intro. I'm tired of saying that, but yeah, today you see my dilemma. Um, the Winter Games have begun. Um, I don't like driving in the snow. I don't know if you guys see my videos from last year or the beginning of this year really um all the fun we had delivering in the snow um i didn't really have too much fun but today well this year is a new year today is really today is the first snowfall of the year for us um and yeah i'm gonna show you guys you know my day pretty much i mean like i always do um today i have a hundred and 13 stops, uh, 160 packages, so a pretty light day. We're not projected to get the heavier routes until after Thanksgiving, which it makes sense because, you know, Black Friday and then Cyber Monday, everybody's ordering a bunch of stuff because there's a bunch of deals going on. So yeah, our weeks, right at, the week right after Thanksgiving, or the two weeks right after Thanksgiving is projected to be our most busiest weeks um, for this holiday season. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't start vlogging last year until after Christmas, I think. Um, so, you know, I should have, a, I should have a pretty good peak season, but I am going back to dispatching. You know, they, uh, asked me to come back, realized they couldn't live without me at dispatching. Um... But that's a whole different story. Uh, so yeah, I will be going back to dispatching. I might be able to show you guys, you know, how crazy it gets during um, peak season as a dispatcher. Um, that should be pretty interesting because it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we do. Um, for instance, calling tow trucks, you know, making sure everybody, I mean, it's still all the same things we normally do as dispatchers, but with the snow and everything, it just makes everything a little bit harder. Um, because drivers don't know how to drive quite frankly and it's quite evident when it's the first snowfall of the year and there's a bunch of accidents out um but yeah so today i'm going to show you guys my day um and yeah stay tuned I got to my first stop 20 minutes 
behind schedule. Um, you know, headed to my first stop. There's a lot of construction. And, you know, I was going 55 to 50 miles per hour the whole ride down. So, you know, an hour driving 50 miles per hour, you know, it really took off some time. Um, or added time, I should say. So, yeah, I was, I've was i been about 20 minutes behind schedule all day. Which, if I would have got to my first stop on time, I would have been right on pace of what Amazon said I was. Um, now, I know you guys probably are wondering where am I getting these times from. You see them if you have access to Cortex. And the only way you can get access to Cortex is if you're a dispatcher or if you're the owner or manager or someone who's not just a driver. So that's how you get access to the times that you're able, um, that they want you to be back to the station. But let me tell y'all about, you know, some of these customers. Now, I was delivered to this house and customer, or so I thought, pulled into the driveway as I'm sitting there finding the package. So I'm like, all right, cool. By the time I find this package, they'll be at the end of the driveway so I don't gotta walk up the whole driveway. I can just hand them the package. Boy, did I did I think wrong. So I get out the van with the package. The lady looks back at me and she's like, hi. So I'm like, hello. And then she just keeps walking, walking up to the front door. So I'm like, all right, she must be a visitor or something. That's why she didn't come and try to get the package. We get to the front door and she opens up the door so I'm thinking she's getting ready to knock you know she opens up the screen door so I'm like oh she's getting ready to knock you know whatever I'm about to set the package on the porch and be on about my day tell me why this lady opens the front door like she lives there and I'm just sitting here the whole time thinking like well if you live here or if you just got access like that you could have just took the package from me so I didn't have to walk up this whole way. And then she opened the door and the first thing she said was, oh, you guys got a package from Amazon. Like, come on now. In that case, just take the package from me and I'll be on about my day. Now I'm not following you like a creeper um, because you don't want to take the package. But that's pretty much the whole story. Like customers, if you see somebody, if you know you're about to walk into a house or you know it's your package, just take the package from the delivery driver. You know, it saves us a bunch of time, especially if it's a long driveway or a longer driveway. Um, because that's just extra time. Like you're already right there. Why are two of us walking up to the door now instead of just the one? Like, save us both some time, honestly. But that's my little rant for the day. Um, it stopped snowing probably around like 1 o'clock-ish. So all the snow's pretty much melted now. Um, people don't know how to park. So yeah, all the snow's pretty much melted. It's still a nice 36 degrees out right now at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but yeah, we should see what tomorrow has in store for us. Make sure you guys like this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel, and stay tuned for more content. Peace.